Hi, Ben Pequano here with DrivewayTips.com. In this video, we are installing a 30 foot by 30 foot practice court. Being installed in a backyard that is completely surrounded by a fence offers a sense of security. It is also a safer alternative than having the driveway basketball court where the children will be chasing the ball into the roadway. We'll start with a tape measure some marking paint and four grade stakes to carefully mark the four corners. After we have the four stakes in the ground, we double check with the tape measure to make sure that everything is 30 feet by 30 feet. And also we check diagonally from one corner to the next. This will ensure that the basketball court is square. I recommend a 30 foot by 30 foot as a minimum playing area for a practice court. A half court or even a full court could be installed if your property and budget allows. Once we have it laid out exactly the way we want it, the excavation process begins. It's important to get all the large rocks, roots, and loom out of the job before you put the gravel base down. We will need to excavate seven to nine inches down to allow for four to six inches of gravel and two to three inches of asphalt. Because there'll be no vehicles parking on this application, we are just gonna use one coat of three inches of asphalt, which will compress down to about two inches after compaction. We like to remove all the rocks that are larger than a baseball, particularly the round ones, because frost heaves will tend to push those through if you live in a frost environment. A basketball court usually measures 50 feet by 84 feet in high school games and 50 feet by 94 feet for college and professional games. Younger players sometimes use smaller courts. The baskets hang 10 feet above the floor or playing surface and a foul line is usually 15 feet from the backboard. A minimum of 42 by 42 is needed for a half court. The excavation process is finished. It's time to bring in some gravel. Either the processed gravel or recycled gravel with one and a half inch stone would be suitable. They both have a grayish tint, packed like cement, and make an excellent foundation for your basketball court. Now that the gravel has been fine graded at compacted, it's time to install the asphalt. We chose to install this one coat application by hand, which means bringing the asphalt in wheelbarrow by wheelbarrow. Then we compact it with our roller in both directions, up and down and left to right. Then we test our basketball court with water to make sure that it is pitched and drains properly. Then we let it dry and we're ready to install some lines. Just a basic free throw line is being used in this application. Simply a 12 foot circle with a foul line that is 15 feet from the backboard. This practice court is now ready for use by friends and family safely for many years to come. Hey, Ben Pequano here with DrivewayTips.com.